than the presidential races. Chris? And Emily, perhaps a sign of some of the turmoil internally with the Republican Party. There are no signs here at the Tennessee GOP state watch party supporting Donald Trump. No Make America Great Again hats. Nothing alluding to the candidacy of Donald Trump. Instead, tonight here, they were focusing on some of these state races. They managed to pick up two extra seats over at the Capitol. One of those that they managed to maintain was Dr. Steve Dickerson. He ran an incredibly tight and incredibly contentious campaign against Aaron Coleman. A lot of outside money was being poured into that campaign. A little after nine o'clock this evening, Aaron Coleman called Dr. Steve Dickerson and conceded this race to him. There was a lot of negativity on both sides, but Dr. Steve Dickerson maintained that he never went negative in this campaign. This was one of those races that Democrats here in the state of Tennessee thought they might be able to, to win, but in the end, that just wasn't the case. Well, it's a great relief. It's very exciting. It's been a long six or eight months. I, I ran through a very hotly contested primary and now the general. I think it's really a validation of the message and what I focused on the last four years, which is trying to improve the lot of Tennessee's families, trying to improve opportunity, really expand the American dream, and then expand prosperity throughout the state. And I really think this is a vote of confidence for that. There are still a few people here tonight waiting to see the results of the presidential race. That win by Dr. Steve Dickerson here this evening for the state GOP only solidifies their supermajority over at the Capitol. That is the latest from Tennessee GOP headquarters tonight. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Rory, back to you.